his life, but he's got um, he, he's got a huge net just from just from deadlifting, you know, and um, so yeah, you can you can build a big neck from from compound exercises. I like to isolate the neck and do the compound exercises, guys, just to maximise that full that full neck potential. Traps. Are the traps important? Yes. If you're a natural guy and you want to maximise on your neck potential, I indeed think it is important to be training your traps. And the best way to do this is to do heavy, heavy rack pulls, heavy deadlifts and heavy shrug work. I like to use a calf machine, a calf machine shrug, guys. I think that works best. Heavy upright rows, if your shoulders can take it. Um, heavy farmers walks, um, trap bar, deadlifting, things of that nature, guys, will build up the neck as well as the traps. Okay, so tra trap training does have its place, you know, it indirectly hits the neck, guys. So um, I, I think that's really important. Um, wearing a neck harness while performing compound movements. Yeah, you might look stupid in the gym, you might get some funny looks, but bollocks to it, guys. If you want to wear a neck harness while you do your heavy lifting, just don't be too heavy. Don't place too much weight on your neck, guys, because while you're lifting, you don't want to pop anything in your neck. But yeah, using a neck harness while you're doing deadlifts, or while you're doing shrugs and having to keep your head up whilst you're doing it, depending on where you place the harness, um is a fantastic way to train your neck so yeah you can do that as well guys um what is the best neck harness in my opinion is the hercules neck harness that you can buy from iron mind enough said and there's also the spud ink the spud ink harness is really good but the um, the hercules neck harness in my opinion is is number one it's got that good longevity it can handle ridiculous amounts of weight you can add a loading pin to it guys it's just a great piece of equipment Okay, so random questions that I've been <laughs> that I've been asked. Do I have sleep apnea? No, not that I'm aware of. I do not have sleep apnea, and I do not know much about it. But uh, sleep apnea is something that tends to happen in people who are overweight, who are obese, that carry a lot of fat around the neck. I've not heard too many stories about people suffering with sleep apnea just because they had a large muscular neck i'm not saying that it doesn't happen it probably does but no i do not suffer with sleep apnea um have i ever had any serious neck injuries uh yes i have guys actually i did a um obviously i've been in gymnastics most of my life and i used to be into tumbling okay when i was 18 i did a backflip I didn't tuck correctly in the air. I landed on the back of my neck, put myself unconscious for, for a little bit of time. And when I woke up, guys, I couldn't feel my right arm. I couldn't feel anything down the right side of my body. I was partially paralysed. Um, got rushed to hospital, and it turns out that I had damaged the nerves in my neck. I had torn the muscles in my neck. Um, and I couldn't train my neck for properly for probably two years. The specialist at the time had actually said to me that if I hadn't have had such a strong neck, if the muscles in my neck weren't as strong, I would have probably broken my neck and at worst probably killed myself, guys. So <laughs> make sure you have a strong neck, guys, because you just never know. But yeah, I injured my neck when doing a back tuck. I landed on the back of my head and Christ, it was painful. I had like this hot burning feeling running down my arm all the time. Felt like somebody was pouring acid down my arm. It was awful took me years to get the feeling back in my thumb and in my index finger. But yeah, you just, you, you, you've got to be careful, guys. And another injury was actually whilst I was doing neck bridges, my head got really, uh, really sweaty and I had a plate on my chest. And as I rolled back to do my neck bridge, my head kind of slid along the mat and all of a sudden, boom, something pinged in my neck. And my neck was over here for like, Four months I had to go and have rehab on my neck, which is really painful. But um yeah, guys, pretty pretty rubbish situation to be in. Um you don't want to have it happen to you, so protect your necks. Um 
is I don't know if there's anything else really to um, to talk about, guys. Tips. I'm going to give you a tip. Okay, one of the best tips that you can um, that you can use for training your neck. Press your tongue against the roof of your mouth when you're training your neck and when you're doing your powerlifting movements. When you press your tongue against the roof of your mouth, you contract the muscles in your neck. You contract that sternal muscle, guys, which is what you want to keep flexed throughout your movements. Keep contracted. So learn to press your tongue against the roof of your mouth when you're training your neck. And also, guys, learn how to flex your neck when you're doing your deadlifting and when you're doing your shrug work. You'll be surprised at how effective um, flexing your neck is. So find that position your head you want to be in. You want your head to be in when you're in the starting position of a deadlift. And just before you lift, flex. Press that tongue against the roof of your mouth. Really flex your neck, okay? And when you're lifting up, guys, you'll really feel feel all that tension in in your neck area there. So just a really awesome tip for you there, guys. So there you go, guys. Um, just a short neck Q&A video for you. Um, personally, I don't think you need to do anything else. You know, the neck is not a complicated um, muscle to train. You've just got to be careful about doing it. When you give it the right amount of resistance, especially in a negative fashion, you'll be surprised at how big your neck will grow. Okay. There you go, guys. Um, I hope that covers a lot of what I um, what you wanted me to what you wanted me to answer. Um, if there's anything that I've missed, if there's anything that you want me to add, let me know if you want me to do another neck Q&A, guys. I can do that for you. Or if you think there's anything that I've missed, just leave me um, some questions in the, the comment box, guys. I always make an effort to, to answer your questions. But, yeah, there you go, guys. Um, I'll be back making you some more videos. Um... And yeah, there you go guys, let's keep the channel going, I hope that helps with your neck training. Okay guys, take care, and as always, have a nice day. Peace out.